Welcome to our channel, where we explore the mysteries and legends of the world. In this video, we'll be delving into the mysterious and fascinating world of the Orang Icon, a legendary creature that has captivated people in Southeast Asia and beyond for generations. Often described as a humanoid fish or mermaid, the Orang Icon has been the subject of countless stories, sightings, and speculation. Some believe it to be a guardian of the ocean, while others see it as dangerous and evil. But what is the truth behind the legend of the Orang Icon? Join us as we explore the history, culture, and sightings associated with this enigmatic creature, and try to unravel the mysteries surrounding it for centuries. The legend of the Orang Icon has deep roots in Southeast Asia's cultural and spiritual beliefs. In many indigenous cultures, water is considered sacred and often associated with spiritual beings and supernatural creatures. The Orang Icon, also known as the Fish Man or Fish Person, is a legendary creature that is said to inhabit the waters of Southeast Asia. The beast is typically described as humanoid, with scaly skin, webbed hands and feet, and a fish-like head. Some reports also describe the Orang Icon as having a long tail and a distinctive fin on its back. The legend of the Orang Icon has been passed down through generations in Malaysia and Indonesia and has been the subject of numerous stories and rumors. Some people believe that the creature may be a type of mermaid or merman, while others speculate that it could be a previously unknown aquatic animal species. Over the years, many sightings of the Orang Icon have been reported in Southeast Asia and beyond. While many of these sightings are unverified, they continue to spark curiosity and speculation among those who hear them. One of the most well-known sightings occurred during World War II in 1943, Japanese soldiers stationed in the Kai Islands of Indonesia encountered a creature known to the locals as the Orang Icon, or Manfish. The soldiers learned that this was no mere myth, as they had multiple sightings of these amphibious creatures that resembled mermaids. The marine creatures were described as being 150 centimeters tall, with light pink skin similar to salmon and a mouth like a carp. They had spikes on their spine, shoulders, and neck, and instead of a single tail, they had two long frog-like fins and long arms. These creatures were primarily seen in the sea but were also spotted on land. One particular sighting occurred when a troop of soldiers approached a natural lagoon on the island. They witnessed one of these creatures jumping out of the water onto a rock, turning to face them, and making a strange gurgling noise. Another creature was seen swimming in the water towards them. Not knowing the creature's intentions, the soldiers started shooting at them, but they escaped and disappeared out of view. Sergeant Mr. Taro, who had been present during this encounter, requested that the villagers inform him if any of the Orang Icon were captured dead or alive. Later on, the general also saw these creatures with his own eyes. Mr. Taro attempted to involve the scientific community after the war, but unfortunately, it did not happen. Another famous sighting occurred in 2009 when a group of fishermen off the coast of Malaysia reported seeing a strange creature with a woman's upper body and a fish's tail. The fishermen claimed that the creature was around two meters long and had long hair covering its upper body. According to the fishermen, the Orang Icon appeared out of nowhere and began swimming around their boat, before disappearing beneath the waves. In conclusion, the Orang Icon is one of the most fascinating and mysterious creatures in the world of monster legends. Although skeptics may dismiss the sightings as mere folklore, the fact that sightings of the creature have been reported from various parts of the world over several decades cannot be ignored. While we may never truly know the truth about the Orang Icon, it is this very mystery that has captured the imagination of people around the globe. We want to express our sincere gratitude to CanNet Telecom for sponsoring our video project. Your commitment to supporting our vision has been remarkable, and we are so grateful for your assistance.